snowflakes sprinkled all over the table for this unboxing. This is a diamond painting from Oraloa and I'm looking forward to showing you all around the painting. Welcome to Stone Magpie, my name's Suzanne, let's get the box open. Before we even open the kit, there's this free little package inside of goodies. Let's open it up and see what is in here. <laughs> this is a lovely touch that Oraloa do. So I've got a baggie with a Christmas sticker on, two bells. I've got a little snowman sat on a present. <laughs> really cute. Could even make him into a cover minder by sticking some magnets on the back. Then I've got a little glass bottle with a cork in. Ooh, let's have a look what's inside. Pull the cork out, tip it out, and let's see. <laughs> so we have a seahorse and a seashell. They're like little sequins. We have a selection of little flowers and we have a tail. <laughs> really cute. Now then, is this a message in a bottle? Let's pop these back in and then we'll see. See if there's any message in our scroll. Take the ring off, open it out. I'm going to fold this back up and tell you that inside was a code for me to get some money off a kit. So I can't promise that you will get a special code in your bottle, but that is a lovely touch there. Pop it back in, put the cork on. Lovely. And that's not all. We have, we have a diamond painting tray that's the shape of a Christmas tree. Oh, that is fabulous. And look, it's got a funnel end with the bottom of the Christmas tree. Isn't that fab? Oh, branded or a lower. Love that. Then what's in here? We have got, ooh, we've got a card, an or a lower card. Oh, it says thank you on the back in lots of different languages. Nice. We have got, it looks like a sticker or two stickers. Turtle, Hawaiian longboard. Is that some sort of surfboard? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, look, he's dressed as Santa and he's got a Christmas present in his hand. <laughs> Lovely. We've got two, what, they're like trading cards. So I think these are little collectible cards that Oraloa give to us. So <laughs> really fun. We've got a nice floral one and one of a beach scene. Nice. And then we have our scratch card. Now, when you get this scratch card, you scratch it off. And if three tiles match, you get a kit of your choice. So you win a kit. So I'll scratch that later and keep my fingers crossed that I can get a free kit. So a really nice little free gift pack there. And those diamond painting trays are fabulous. And I've been very spoilt getting a message in a bottle. Also, if you want to get a coupon code, there is an affiliated code in the description box below and you can have 15% off any order at any time by using that code in the description box. So do have a look. Right, the excitement continues as we open up the diamond painting. So I've taken the cellophane wrapping off the box. It's still a glossy box, as you can see. It is a very sturdy box, really nice quality, good for storing or for gifting. So what is the kit I've chosen today? Turn over the box. 
and here she is. I have chosen another Eleanor Dodina picture because I am so much enjoying the fairy on a toadstool. You may well have seen that. I'm working on that one currently and it is a round diamond. So I wanted to try a square diamond kit from Oraloa to compare. And this one is beautiful. I have chosen it as my winter project and I'm really looking forward to seeing the kit. So let's open this one now. Very tightly packed inside, here we go. So on the box, it says that the measurement is 72 by 80 centimeters. However, the sticker says 82 by 90. So I'm not quite sure on the size of this one. I will open it out and we'll have a look. I'm not a fan of the way that this is folded over. Hopefully it will self flatten, but that's a bit of a shame. Okay, the painting is now out of its protective cover. Let's have a look. Oh, firstly, I'm going to say the backing on these canvases is so soft. It really feels gorgeous. And you can see we've got the scalloped edging and the perforations to stop any fraying. Right, I'm not sure which way this goes. Okay, I think this is the top. Ooh, it's very blue. Ooh, look at that. The Oraloa signature here. Oh, look. Look at that gorgeous bird. We will have a look at the diamonds a bit later. It does say 72 by 80. Now I am going to roll it the other way to see if I can lay it a bit flatter for us to see. I am really enjoying working on the other round diamond painting and I just wanted to try squares to compare. If you would like to see that diamond painting, the videos for it so far are in a playlist that you'll be able to find on the channel and it is called El Bosque Magico if you want to have a look for that one on Oraloa. Wow, she is beautiful and I have to say that I'm going to roll back the protective cover to see if we can get rid of some of the bumps that I can see just through the packaging. And also, can you see down this left hand side, there is a little bit of crumpling from where that canvas was folded over. So hopefully as the video goes on, we may see this laying flatter naturally anyway. Okay, now I've removed the protective cover from the canvas, we can still see that the glue is so glossy, it doesn't make that much difference. I will pop the cover back on now and we'll have a closer look at the picture. If you're new to diamond painting, I don't recommend that you take this cover off until you're diamond painting the area. So why did I choose this one? Well, just look at the stunning artwork by Eleanor Dodina. It's such a beautiful winter scene with that snowy branch and the bird and then the girl looking towards it with all of the wispy hair and in the blues. Oh, it just, it's just a magical winter picture. 
and this one is the one I've chosen as my Christmas picture this year. It doesn't scream Christmas with bells and whistles. It's very subtle, but it's so beautiful. I'm going to get some close-up views now of the canvas. Starting with what I think is the most important part of the picture, this area here where you've got the bird looking at the girl and the girl looking at the bird. It, I, this, Eleanor Dedina has just such a magical touch in evoking emotion. It's just unbelievable. Incredible shot there. Now, if you look at the diamond painting itself, you'll be able to see all of the different shading. Look at that detail around her nose and her lip area. And then her eye there. There are so many subtle details that make such a difference in the diamond painting. And of course, the bird itself, you can see with the pinks and the reds, the blues of the feathers, really, really gorgeous. Focusing in on the branch that the bird is sitting on with those touches of snow along it and then the berries dangling down like Christmas tree baubles. <laughs> then moving towards the bottom of the diamond painting, we've got this wispy fur collar that looks so delicately done and mirrors the wispiness of her hair coming down. With the main imagery really concentrated in the middle here, you can see there are little frosty details dotted about in the background of this diamond painting. It will be interesting to see how that is picked out when the diamonds are laid down. It just evokes a frosty, cold, icy image and this one is actually called Icy Stare. <laughs> I think you can see why. Right, in this diamond painting, let's see how many colours are included. It is mostly blues, as you can imagine. And this canvas, unlike the previous one, does look like the colours are true on the canvas. Whereas the fairy on a toadstool took me by surprise a little bit. This one looks a bit truer to how it will be when it's completed. So... Looking at the edge here, we have all of the symbols and DMC numbers. And wow, if you see, got 155, 156, 157, so on. So they are going to be a very subtle blend of shading in those first eight numbers being consecutive in the DMC chart. Then moving down, we've got more consecutive numbers in the 200s and so on. So the shading in this one will be key, I, I feel. Lots of blues, as you can imagine, with touches of pinks, whites. Looks like pale peppermint colours too. So we have 50 colours in this diamond painting and it looks like three of those are AB colours. I think it's time to see the toolkit and the diamonds, don't you? Starting with the toolkit in a self-seal baggie. Tip all of the toolkit out and we'll start with the white funnel tray. We get blue wax with Oraloa in a little caddy. And there are two, three slabs of blue wax in this one. I have started using the blue wax and I actually really like this. It does dry out quicker than the pink wax, but it doesn't leave as much residue, I find, on my diamond paintings. We get a basic diamond painting pen with a multi-placer end and a larger multi-placer end too. So I would say this is a three-placer and this one's probably a nine-placer. We also get a squidgy that fits on the end of your diamond pen. You push it on and then it is like a comfort grip to protect your fingers while you're diamond painting. And we also get a pair of needle nose tweezers with the guard on because they are very sharp. A good 
toolkit to start out with. If you're a beginner, everything is in here that you need with your diamond painting tray, your wax, your pen and your tweezers. I would say perhaps you would want to add maybe some release papers and maybe some storage. However, saying that, I am working from the baggies on my other Oraloa diamond painting. So if you do want to see how that works, do have a look in the playlist. You get a tips sheet welcoming you to the Oraloa diamond painting craft. And it gives you lots of tips on here in English and in French. Oraloa do provide a sticker sheet with the details of the diamond painting and a beautiful photograph and the dimensions as well. And you can use this sticker to stick in your logbook if you are logging your diamond paintings. And actually, just looking at this beautiful picture, I can see some snowflakes and details there that I didn't notice on the canvas. So once we've finished looking at the diamonds, etc., I'm going to have a closer look at that area there. The stickers on this side of the sheet are to use on your storage. They are pre-cut stickers, so you will be able to peel these off and use when you're kitting up into your storage boxes. So next are the diamonds. We've got two packs of diamonds. Oh wow, I can already see the ABs sparkling out at me there. Oh wow, we've got turquoise, red and purple. <gasps> okay, more purpley than I thought actually. I thought it was going to be mainly blues. Interesting. Wow, dark colours there. Let's have a closer look at this pack first. There's those peppermints, I thought. So these are really big packs of diamonds, 939. All of these are 939s. Oh, <laughs> with a little surprise tucked in between. And then we've got 823s as well. Wow, quite dark. I didn't expect such dark diamonds, I have to say. And then we have some smaller packs. Oraloa do kit up according to the pack size. So two packs of the beautiful white here. And then those turquoisey blues. Wow, quite a vivid purple. And then the peppermints. And then some cute little packs here. Open up this second pack. Oh, wow. Oh, the ABs are coming in a separate pack too. Okay. Look, we've got blue, 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 bit of mint green and a bit of pink. I think that might be her lips. Or maybe those are her lips, not sure. Oh, a nice purple. Look at these pastely colours, really nice. Again, as I said, 29, 210, very close in colour on the DMC chart. So lots of blending. Here we've got our 160, 161 and 162. They have actually got quite a bit of contrast. Ah, more contrast than I thought, actually with our 157, 158, 159. I thought they would be closer in colour than that. So there we have it. Oh, a nice big pack of that really delicate. It's a very pale lilac pink. Three tens. Oh, a lovely silver colour. Really nice kit. Let's have a look at these 
then there's not many ABs then in this kit at all. They are all very small packs, but wow, they pop, don't they? Look at that blue with those different colours in them, the red and the purple, really lovely. Before we see where the ABs sit, I'm going to just open one of the packs to have a closer look at the squares. I like to choose a dark colour when I do this, so let's do a 939. Pour out easily, not static. Wow, they're sparkly. Can you see them sparkling away? I hope you can see it as much as I can. They are beautiful and they are sitting very nicely together. I can't see any with an issue. I am fussy when it comes to squares. They have to sit really tightly together. I'm really, really wanting to see one of the brights now. I think let's have a look at this bright one. Oh, and it is bright as well. Very, very electric pink, this one. Ooh, they are very, very nice diamonds. I'm hoping that they sit nice and tightly on the canvas when it comes to diamond painting because I do like my squares to click into place. I like them to sit very snug together. Right, let's see where these are on the painting. Starting with the little pack of purple ABs. They are along the bird's wing here and just dotted every so often around, including one in her eye. With this red, this is again on the bird and it's on the breast of the bird down here. None in her lips, which surprised me. I thought there may well have been some there, but no, it's really on the bird itself. Coming to this mint turquoise colour, this tends to be dotted very, very subtly around some of the background here and in some of her hair strands too. So that will be very pretty. This one is going to be a very delicate touch of ABs. It's not going to be concentrated. They are just going to glisten gently from the picture. I do have to say that I am quite surprised that we don't have some white ABs for this area here or maybe just a glint or two in the frosted berries. So I may well add some of those in if I decide at the time of diamond painting. Now, one thing that we were going to have a look at was this area here. So I'm going to zoom in there and we'll have a closer look there. So looking at the picture itself, I'll bring that a bit closer. Can you see that subtle detail of some snowflakes? And it looks like it could be a brooch in her hair too, which I didn't actually notice on the canvas. And when we look at the canvas area here, it does look very, very subtle. And looking at the symbols, we've got T symbols and the number five, which is also in her hair. So it'll be interesting how obvious this area will be once it's diamond painted. Before we finish, let's have a little scratch and see if I've won a free kit. Again, I'm using the end of my tweezers, found another use for these tweezers. <laughs> Ooh, I've got two of those. Oh, not a win this time, but I was close having two. Another beautiful kit from Oraloa. This image is stunning. I love that centre part there with all of those colours as well being a lot more purpley and bluey so there is going to be a nice contrast in the picture itself again with more darker colours in the background to bring out those lighter details really really pleased with the diamonds they look sparkly they look really good quality happy with those hoping that they lay nice and flush to each other on the canvas 
Great kit, really pleased. If you would like to discover Oraloa for yourself or place a purchase at any time, do remember that discount code in the description box below to save yourselves 15% not forgetting our free gift, which was always really cute, and a free scratch card for a little bit of added excitement. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed having an explore around an Oraloa kit. Please do like, share and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, enjoy your own diamond painting. Take care, bye.